In this video, we are going to discuss about the eigenvalues of a matrix A inverse. In general, eigenvalues of an operator T inverse. So we all know that if lambda is a real number and there exists a vector which is non-zero such that a into v bar is equal to lambda times v bar then we call this lambda to be the eigenvalue of the matrix and we call v bar to be the eigenvector of that matrix in general if we have a map if we have a map t which is from vector space to vector space it's a function from vector space to vector space which is a linear map then we say that lambda is an eigenvalue of that map with eigenvector v bar which is non-zero if t into v bar is equal to lambda times v bar so this a here was a matrix now instead of that we will have t as a linear map now in the coming exercise what we are going to show is as follows if lambda is an eigenvalue of t which is non-zero eigenvalue then we will show that lambda inverse or lambda raised to minus one is equal is the eigenvalue of the map t inverse lambda inverse means one by lambda is this will become the eigenvalue of the map t inverse so the proof is very easy let us quickly go through the proof so we know that lambda which is a non-zero number is eigenvalue of t so by definition i can now say that there exists a vector which is not equal to zero such that t into v bar will be equal to lambda into v bar this definition we have just written above right now we will operate t inverse both the sides so when i operate t inverse both the sides this means t inverse of t v bar is equal to t inverse of lambda v bar this gives me t inverse t of v bar is equal to this lambda will come outside the operator because it's a scalar it's because t is a linear map so i will just get now lambda t inverse v bar but we know that t inverse into t is identity so identity of v bar is equal to lambda t inverse v bar identity times the vector will give me again the same vector so this is vector v bar equal to lambda t inverse v bar this lambda i'm going to shift on that side because lambda is not equal to zero so i can take the reciprocal so i'll get one by lambda v bar is equal to t inverse of v bar and this means that t inverse v bar is equal to lambda is to minus one of v bar this line means that lambda inverse lambda is to minus one is the eigenvalue of the map t inverse right because we know the definition of eigenvalue and eigenvector i'll just go up and see that lamb if i can show that t v is equal to lambda v then it will mean that lambda is eigenvalue of t so here in the at the end what we have shown is that 
T inverse V bar is equal to lambda inverse V bar. So this means that this lambda inverse is the eigenvalue of the map T inverse with what is the eigenvector here? Here the eigenvector is the same V bar, which is non-zero. So eigenvector does not change, but the eigenvalue becomes the reciprocal of the inverse map T. Okay, this is this result ends here.